Hey Gemini, welcome back to your love reading for the 1st to the 15th of October. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun. What's coming towards Gemini in love? What is coming towards Gemini in love? We have the Knight of Cups, but he's in the reverse. So, not very not any love offers coming in, okay, with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. This could also be um, you resisting or turning down an offer or vice versa. We have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so... Um, a lot of you guys could be single and happy here with the Nine of Cups. There is a lot of um, confidence and emotional satisfaction. So whatever you're doing that's making you happy right now, with or without a partner, keep doing it, okay? Even if you're with somebody right now, it's, you're, you're feeling really good with the Nine of Cups. Very watery. Some of you guys could have water in your chart. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the Ten of Wands. So, burden, struggles... But you're still moving, though. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or a, another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Moon card. Okay. We have the Hierophant. Taurus energy, could be Scorpio energy as well, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and clarify all these. But let's take a look at them first. So some kind of truth may might have came out about a Taurus or a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, doesn't have to be. Um, but I feel like it was some kind of truth about something that was in the dark. But you're happy, though. Or vice versa, someone else is happy. For those of you in a relationship, um... Like I said, things are good. Some of you guys could be taking things to the next level. Um, you know, getting married. Uh, moving in together. After some sort of struggles with the Ten of Wands here. So there is an ending. And then below the Ten of Swords, we have an Ace. So a new beginning, okay? 
a new beginning with clarity. Okay, so let's start off with the <clears throat> Knight of Cups in the reverse. We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse, clarified by the Three of Swords, and the Page of Swords in the reverse. So, with the Three of Swords, there is some kind of hurt. There is some kind of heartbreak, okay? Either with you not coming forward and offering somebody something or expressing your true feelings to them there may have been a missed opportunity there or um, vice versa something about somebody not coming forward with a love offer and somebody being heartbroken about it someone you know might have just left and not even communicated that okay but we have the nine of cups after so let's see what that's all about we have the Nine of Cups. Okay. So with the Nine of Cups, oh beautiful, we have Judgment and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so um, there was a final decision here. There was a final decision, and I feel like that was to move away. Okay, because we have the Knight of Pentacles here moving away from judgment. So there was a final call, and um, you feel satisfied now. Okay, and with the Knight of Pentacles, it's like you are doing stuff. You could be focused career-wise right now, just focused on your money and just really putting more attention and action into that portion of your life. And that could be what's really bringing you emotional fulfillment right now, okay? It's just focusing on your money, on your coin, on yourself, okay? This could be advice as well. If you're having a hard time with a loss here, um, do things that are going to take care of you, like um, eating healthier, um, work. I know that takes your mind off a lot, okay? So the next card we have is the Ten of Wands. So you're still moving, right? You're still moving, and you still feel all the burden. You still feel like you're carrying everything. So let's clarify it. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Oh! Oh, damn. Look what it is. The Ten of Swords. So we have two Tens on top of each other, but the Ten of Swords? This is like backstab, people backstabbing you. This is letting people um, take advantage of you as well. But with the Ten of Swords, this is the end of it. But this is still feeling the pain. And with the Ten of Wands, you're still pushing forward. You're still moving, okay? But you're still carrying that pain. But just know that you're at an end, though, Gemini. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So this could have been someone you were dealing with. The King of Pentacles in the reverse is someone who is not mature, 
someone who he could be not about his work, not about his coin, also someone who does not want to like work things out so they can be more abundant, I want to say. Okay, so this could be somebody you're dealing with, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They're showing up in the reverse, okay? This could also be a part of you where you feel just a lot of pain right now and a lot of burden. This could be lingering pain that's coming into October, or this could be, you know, some shiz that happens the 1st through the 15th here, okay? But something's coming to an end. You're still carrying the pain, and with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, it's like no, no growth is happening. There's no really tending to self-care, because all you feel is just burdened. Okay, so that could be the advice here with the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. You know, do things that are going to be healthy for you. Move slowly, move cautiously. That's how you could be moving into relationships now too, maybe more slowly. Okay, we have the moon card. Pisces energy. Okay, so we have two sixes that came out. Three sixes. Whoa. Okay. So we have the six of pentacles in the reverse, the six of swords in the reverse, and the six of wands. So we have six, six, six. Gemini. Um... So with the moon card, there is some sort of confusion. There is some sort of illusion, feeling confused, okay? Now, with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, this is talking about imbalances, okay? Things not weighing out properly, and with the Six of Wands, there is going to be some sort of, um, completion here. Maybe somebody felt like the relationship was uneven. And they could have expressed that to someone else, or they left that. I want to pull out another card. Okay, so we have the hanged man in the reverse. Sorry, that's so loud. We have the Hanged Man in the reverse with the Three of Wands in the reverse. So maybe you guys have removed yourself from this person, from this situation. You're not sitting and waiting anymore. 
And that could be what the victory is with you guys ending something. You know, removing yourself from something that was, from something or somebody who was just very confusing to you. They just leave you in the dark, okay? Or that could be advice here, is to remove yourself. Focus on other things that are going to be clear for you, that are not going to be confusing for you, okay? We have the Hierophant. Taurus energy. Okay, we'll take those. Interesting. So, with, to clarify the Hierophant, we have the Emperor in the reverse, the Hermit in the reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, and Death upright. So, I feel like Somebody's traditions, somebody's um, viewpoints on the other person, that needs to go. That needs to end. Okay, with the Emperor and the Hermit clarifying the, the Hierophant, but them being in the reverse here, this, there's something false about this Hierophant person. Okay, like their beliefs. It, it could be like blocking the relationship, and with death card it needs to be resurrected, because things are being delayed, or things are just not going in your favor here, with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, okay? We have the Ace of Swords. Or somebody could be, you know, thinking that they have all the answers here, you know, but I feel like there needs to be, um, you know, with, with the Hermit card, there needs to be, um, things need to be looked at from different viewpoints, okay, from different perspectives and from different shoes, okay. So, in original tarot, with the death card, we see someone like a pope, like this, and death coming for this person, like the horse's hoof, like its, um, its uh, arm is like going to, to crush him. So, something here, like a belief or something needs to die. and then be brought back to life, because that's death. <laughs> so the Ace of Swords. There's going to be some type of clarity about this Hierophant. Some secret's gonna come out. We have the Two of Pentacles, so something about being in a, a cycle or juggling. Maybe this person was juggling. Queen of Cups. Two of Wands in the reverse. If you guys have a decision to make first to the 15th, um, Using your intuition is highly recommended, because if you do use your intuition, things will go in your favor with justice. Um, and the feeling that you need to fight or really um, express your boundaries will go away. 
okay? So there will be clarity, there will be a decision made, justice will be served first through the 15th here with the Ace of Swords, okay? We have the devil at the bottom of the deck. Oh, Nine of Pentacles. So let's pull an advice card. <clears throat> That's too many cards. We have building blocks in the reverse. So let's go ahead and see what it says. So, the reversal of this message says, now is time, <laughs> okay, let me backtrack here, now is the time to address the cracks in the foundations of your life. Perhaps your values have changed, and it is time to strengthen your convictions and let go of the things that no longer serve the vision you have for life. Or perhaps you choose to ignore the signs that a situation or agreement you have entered into is not right for you. Remove the rotten pieces and reinforce your core moral strength and integrity. Now is the time for rigorous honesty, for you are called to renovate and upgrade your consciousness. You will be so happy when you do. Spirit has a spectacular blueprint for your life far beyond your imagination. Don't be afraid to replace what's not solid. Okay. So like I was saying, this this portion here, I keep going back to it because it's strongly, like, focusing on work and on yourself is going to pull you out of feeling like a rut, okay? And with doing that also, it will focus on different areas of your life that you have been um, lacking or just putting on the back burner, okay? It's also called self-care. So Gemini, that's all I have for you. I am offering personal readings, ones that range from 5 to $10. So if you are interested at all, I have a website up and the link is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys later, and have a good one.